Yeah, uh, hi, uh, John Gray, I'm a, a West Ham Labour councillor and the uh, housing lead in Newham. Oh, many uh, people here stood in silence, remember the hundreds of thousands of millions who were murdered and killed by fascism 60 years ago. 17th of November 1940 uh, is the midst of the London Blitz when the fascist bombers were raining bombs all over this area. It wasn't just a transport hub, they were building railway stations over here. So when we say never forget, we must mean never forget. Never again is not only a pledge for our future, for a society free of that kind of threat of race, hate, genocide and anti-Semitism and so forth. It's a pledge for the future. It's a rallying call for today. It's a rallying call for now, against every time that racism and anti-Semitism and Islamophobia and every form of prejudice raises its head. Has there been such a unified political response? And we should all be proud of ourselves that New York stands united against racism and fascism. I grew up facing racial attacks, physical attacks, and that's what impacted my childhood. Do you know what impacts me now? It's the institutional racism. Yes. The racists, those who hire up, make decisions for us. Austerity, making decisions about the poor people like myself. It's impacting education, national health, and public services. For me, it's just scary times, scary times. I'm worried about what the future holds for me, for the kids, for future generations. And so I don't want to look back and think I did nothing. So even if just my presence, I will go and, and do what I can to make a difference, really. Therefore, on that note, we should hear from the young boys who's here today. Uh, Unais, come and say a few words. that underneath all of our skins, the same hearts are beating. Yeah. And that we should stand up for ourselves, and that's why we are here today. Come on everyone, join! 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 We are marching against racism, we are marching against fascism, we are marching so that people can live in peace and harmony. <laughs> of people taking a very clear stand against fascism and racism. Being an anti-racism activist has been a key feature of everything that I've done in my politics and also as a woman of colour. On behalf of all of those that are being diminished because of the rise of fascism and racism in this country and across Europe. And we need to all be standing in solidarity to ensure that that insidious threat of the fascists and the racists is challenged and that we ensure that we remain a unified country and a unified community in Newham. I'm here to fight racism and fascism and stand in unity against the growth of xenophobia and bigotry in this country. I think as elected members we all have a responsibility in doing that and I'm really really glad that we have managed to put aside all the different political differences we have to come together today and stand united. We're seeing Trump and Victor Orban in Hungary and Le Pen in France so yeah they're big issues that, that face by society and I suppose this is one way of showing you know that we're not going to so sort of back down from some of those challenges and you know we'll go out on the street and and try and support those struggles wherever they are why marching against racism of course <laughs> marching, ag marching against racism is very important because we've faced it all our life and now it's the way and Brit things in britain have got a little bit better but it's also highlighting the struggles that many black and asian and people from all different religions face today. This is the first time I've actually come to an anti-racism march 
but I used to grow up watching the National Front march uh, down my street. So that's how bad it was. So that's, these are the, this is how times have changed. Because uh, the growth of racism in this country and across the Western world is very scary. The growth of far-right organisations damages the unity of our society, breaks us apart. Mainstream politicians like Boris Johnson and Donald Trump, who I'd say flirting with this racism, but they're not flirting with it, they're using it for their own personal ambitions. It's very worrying. Well, we've had a bit of a wake-up call seeing uh, Tommy Robinson's lot out on the streets down in Westminster. It's disgusting. Um, I didn't think that that kind of movement would be getting any popular kind of ground at the moment but it's yeah it's a horrible thing to see so I think for the first time in, in my generation um, it's important that people really start to stand up to the rise in the far right. It's very very important we need to highlight what living in a multicultural Britain means and especially to young people growing up uh, that you know we all need to be united we, we live in a country which is united and not divided and we should never let far-right fascism divide us. Services are being cut when resources are being cut. It's easy to scapegoat people and say these people are taking scarce resources. It's their fault. And the referendum as well, that, that stirred up a lot of difficulties for people in the street. And, and a lot of misinformation was, was put out about the role of immigration and and people coming into the country so you know that was exploited as well by 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 the riot we are naturalizing racism we are naturalizing xenophobia in the likes of people like tommy robinson and nigel farage and we have to actually put a light over there and say that no this is enough enough is enough we are one community and everybody plays a role so and this has got to stop. The fascism and racism has just got to stop. In the economy, when the banks went down in 2008, has led to a polarisation in society. And there's a far-right polarisation. And it does come out of the austerity that people are seeing. But people are looking for the wrong answer to that austerity. So they blame migrants or they blame people who look a bit different to them. And that's not the explanation of why the economy has gone so badly wrong. So that is where it's coming from, coming from partly. But it also tells you that to fight back against it, as well as fighting against racism and fascism, we also have to fight for a more equal, a fairer society. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.